Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a collective haul and um, mostly make well all makeup to be honest with you. And um, this is stuff that I've picked up from over the past say a couple of months. And um, so I've been kind of holding them all together so I could do this haul today. So I'm gonna first go start with um, some ColourPop. Hopefully you can see those. Um, this Colourpop packaging. So um, I picked up some Ultra Satin Lip um, by Colourpop. So I'm, I'm going to have swatches in this, guys. So hopefully they turn out <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I picked up, as I say, some Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip. Um, three three colours. The first one is called London Fog. And so hopefully there should be a little um, thing with jig popping up. In there now, but if not, I'll just do this and then I can cut it off. So that's what the um, packaging looks like. Yeah, and as I say, I would have done some swatches so you can have a look at what the actual colour's like. So that's the first one. As I say, I grabbed three. Second one is Tulips, which is I think quite a popular one um, in the brand. One that kind of sells out pretty pretty quick. It's a beautiful colour. Um, I'd say it was a mauvey mauve nude if there's such a thing but there you go beautiful colour and again hopefully there's swatches in with that that's two and the third and final one is called panda which is my favourite oh my god that's the one I've actually got on my lips at the moment and I've had this on all day I've eaten I won't say I've drank because I haven't, but I've eaten and the, the stain power is really, really good. I'd say it's a, still a little bit drying, not as drying as obviously the ultra matte ones, but um, still, still decent stain power. So that's the um, what was this one? Panda. There you go. So then three Colourpop lip sticky lipsticks, liquid lipsticks I should say. And then I also picked up uh, one other liquid lipstick and this is by the brand um, Gerard Cosmetics. And this is their, um, that's it, that's it, Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. So there you go, hopefully you can see that, the packaging on that. And again, this is, this is what we, you would call a nude colour. Beautiful, another um, really nice colour. Can't see too much in the in the frost in there. It's got the Jared Cosmetics on the the top of the lid, and also it's got it on the top there. I'll open this up for you guys. You can have a look at the colour. So that's the colour of that. Uh, again, swatches should be included. So yeah, that's um, well, I've not tried that yet. This this would be something that I'd use as a nude. Um, well, obviously it's not new for me, but I'd use my um, Mac chestnut as a outline on the lips, and then I'd just pop this in the middle just to give it a, a nice little little lift of colour. So then on the liquid lip, on the liquid lip, right? and then I picked up some foundations as well. So this one, I'm sure you've all seen this packaging before and this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Lips um, Lipstick um, foundation and I got this in the colour Cocoa Medium. Now I feel this is a little bit too light for me but this is something that I'm probably going to have to mix with other foundations just to maybe get a close to colour. Um, I don't think after this one there's a after this one there's only one other shade up um, but I've heard it's a bit ashy um, and I tend to like there's the the bottle I tend to like my um, foundations quite warm and that's the applique you know how you put it on so you just dab it's a full coverage foundation I have used it once just to test what the colour was like and that's when I found out that uh oh no um, but I am gonna I am gonna try and work with it and see what I can do with it because this shit ain't cheap. Ain't cheap. Um and I'd like to thank my lovely friend Sam for picking this up for me. Thanks, babe. Um yep, yeah, so that's one. And then I picked up another foundation. This one is the Clinique 
Beyond and Perfecting Foundation. It's a foundation and concealer in one. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that. There. So I've never used any Clinique um, foundations or cosmetics as such. I have used the skincare before years ago, um, but this is what the bottle looks like. And this is in the colour um, Clove 28, I think it is. Let's see if my memory serves me. Oh, yep, Clove 28. This, I would say, I've used it once. Nice coverage. Um, I'd say it was more of a satin finish. It's not a uh, matte finish or anything like that. But I do have um, dry skin, so to have a satin finish, it's nice just to still have a bit of some thinking. It's going to not want it really dry looking because most of the time it's dry as it is. So, yes, yeah, so that's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Uh, then I picked it up also, let's see, the Cover FX. There we go. Okay, this is called the Click Stick. Um, yeah, cover, yeah, cover effects click stick. Mm. And I got it in the shade N90. So there you go. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Yeah. It comes in a little. It's absolutely tiny. That's is how big it is. It's absolutely tiny. Um, but to be fair, there's decent amount of products in it so you know if you're using it as a foundation um you know you've got i think you've got plenty in there to be honest it's just like you i think when you look at it online um you, you it looks bigger and then you get it and it's like ooh, okay um but this i think is a little bit too light for me um color wise so this is something i probably use as highlighter you know under the eyes and stuff but the actual texture of this is beautiful it's really really oh what's the word it's like nourishing even beautiful beautiful gutted that it's not my shade for a full-on foundation but again make it work and um, then we have this little one which is the LA Girl Perfecting Liquid Makeup it says well it's a foundation but okay all free with vitamins C and E now pick this up um, as a bit of a, on a bit of a whim this I bought from Beautylish which is a few of the, few of the, the products that I bought are actually from Beautylish so I will try and link the um, actual links to what I've, I've bought down you know blah 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 down there so if you do want to purchase or have a look at anything in a bit more detail you can um this i bought in the color espresso now i think this is a little bit too dark um not terribly dark but i think i'd probably just need to again mix it with something um but i've never used this before so i'm interested to see how it how it works full coverage if it is full coverage that kind of thing it doesn't actually say on there what the coverage is supposed to be so yeah, we'll see. I'm interested in that one. Oh, gosh, my nose. And then, what have we got next? Ooh, 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 ooh. I picked up the Pixie um, Eyebrow Tamer. Beautiful, beautiful. Not got anything to really kind of tame those brows. Um, I've got, today I've got the Anastasia Dip Brow. I think we get me, me brows are on fleek today. I don't know if people are still saying that, but eyebrows are looking good um so i picked this up just to kind of see how it goes i'm glad it's clear and which i'm glad about really because i you know if you put all stuff on your brows it's like i don't want nothing color wise i just want something to you know keep them in place that's all i want you know what i mean so yeah interested to see how that works not used it as yet and i also picked up talking about brows is the wonder brow now i'm sure everyone's seen this oh over be it youtube instagram facebook um and i thought i'd just give it a go and and try it i've had a look at the color and it looks very very brown look sorry the color that i got it in was black brown but i, I just think it's too brown i'm not sure how it's going to work on me I'll just, I'll just take it out of the thing so you can see I'm not too sure how it's going to work, um, but I'm going to give it a go and see, see what it's like. Might come on, 
on here and, and do a live demonstration. Well, it won't be live, but you know, record a demonstration, see how it works on me. And it also comes with a little a shmoolie. Get it out. Get it out. Shmoolie don't want to come out there. Yes, yeah, so it also comes with a little spoolie to um, obviously brush through the, the product once you pot it on. Um, what else do I have? I managed to also pick up the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, in the shade Orange. Now this is something that is all over the YouTube, as I say, this is a very popular product. I picked this up because I do um, suffer with hyperpigmentation on the side of my face here and here. And I have in the past used the... Um, mac because you know they do a correcting palette and i've used that but i didn't find it covered but i must say i used it today um makeup's been on for a few hours now but i have used it today and i was really happy with the coverage you don't have to use a lot um because it, it's very pigmented but you know it's a couple of pounds on that from amazon so it's it's worth a try much honestly worth a try that one um and then i picked up this MYX um, Jumbo Pencil. Now I picked this up because when you put you, my eyeshadow on, I use a primer, um, an eyeshadow primer, which is fantastic. Eyeshadow doesn't move. But sometimes the pigmentation, depending on what eyeshadow you're using, doesn't, isn't always vibrant and you can't always see it. So I thought if I try putting this on as a base before I put my eyeshadow on just to see if it actually is a bit more vibrant so you can see the colour a little bit more so picked up not used it yet it's still in its packaging um but I'd be interested to see if it's gonna work come towards the end of the video now so last but not least I picked up this Kiko face makeup fixer there you go you can see that we there's a Kiko in Manchester in the um Trafford Centre friend of mine recommended this. I do have a few other setting sprays, um, but she recommended this. I thought, you yeah, what, give it a go? It's a aerosol. I'll give it a bit of a, as you can see. It's a bit, al bit it's a bit alcohol, alcoholic. <laughs> um, not sure if I'm gonna like that if I'm being totally honest, but I'll give it a go and and, and see see how I, how I get on with it. So I think that's everything, guys. Yeah, it's everything in my collective haul today. Um, I will, as I say, try and put the links for everything that I've shown you today if I can find it in the description bar down there. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did. That uh, 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 thumbs it up. Uh, also, please subscribe if you are not subscribed already. What you doing? Why not? Do it now. It's free. And also share, and that would be awesome too. And also, you can catch me on Twitter, Instagram, and I am on Snapchat, but I have no clue what I'm doing on Snapchat. Um, but I will leave all the details for for those places down below. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.